Okay, down here on the floor, spring's coming. And I want to get my mower all set up. It needs, um, it's been a while since I've done some maintenance, but I'm trying to get it into the lock position to set all of the heights and side to side, front to back, all that stuff. And I couldn't get it into the lock position, so I took the mower off and I found out what's happening and I'll show you here. So this, where I've got that needle file, that's your height adjustment lever. So right now it's in the locked position with about an eighth of an inch. Might be a little heavier than an eighth, but so what I noticed is I'll show you. If I take this file out. see that it's right tight and it's actually it's actually quite a bit higher than that it was actually coming up to um, the top of this black plate here is actually way up here so what I did is I popped out these cotter pins here and dropped that and I realized that this this arm this arm here this big long arm it's all hooked up to this actually pivots on this axle here so it's spindle whatever you want to call it so what you gotta do is Lift up, lift up on your mower lift arm bracket here, assembly. Lift that up, take the weight off. Push on the back side. Basically push up where that um, turn buckle's hanging from. Okay. We're going to lift that all up. And put our shim under here. Now, I don't know if you can see it back there. Get this guy right. There's three bolts right here. I gotta take my tire off. I'll show you from the back side here. Right there. I've got to reset that and get rid of that slot. And and another another beautiful thing I found was what was that that arm's been hitting that wiring harness there the whole time. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to get this thing um, set properly. Well, you know how that goes. Alright, I got the tire off. You can really see it now. So, we'll go back down to that mower lift. Okay, mower lift assembly. It comes up to this guy right here. And it's hooked onto this bracket here, which is tied into your 
the rocker arm lifters three point thing. Sorry, everyone, I'm not a big uh, hearts guy, but my old man was a journeyman mechanic, and my older brother's a journeyman body man, and I'm a journeyman carpenter. So I've learned a lot over the years. My grandpa, B95 this year, he worked on a lot of um, building combines and whatnot, so I think um, it's just kind of runs in the family, being able to figure this kind of stuff out. So anyways, I'm going to um, get this thing tightened back up here a little better, and then I'm going to take this um, weight off here we'll see where we're at after that all right so this is kind of sort of how it should look when you're in the install position okay So when you when you turn this selector up, right, you lift your your rock shaft lever, I think it's called. Lift your BTU up. It makes this guy it makes that move there. You see that? Okay. So that would be dropping the three point hitch. And then this would be lifting it. So, what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to pivot this all the way into the lock position. Okay. So we're now, we're now in the lock position. All right. So, what I found out was, when it's in the lock position, I'm going to put this turnbuckle back in this hole, okay? And then I'll show you what's next here. Alright, so this, this is my problem, and what was causing me. I've got the pin, pin back in, and as you can see, it is, it's right on there. And actually, like I said before, it was way up here. So now I'm just going to uh, take a bit of the weight off that thing, put my shim in, about an eighth inch they're saying in the, in the manual. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I gotta do with that thing. So when I take this, when I take my shim out, this stays. So I'll let you know what I did there. All right, I found the problem. So I got my eighth inch shim in here. Okay. And this arm here, you see how it slides back and forth? Mine was set, I don't know if you can see that, the old markings there, it was set right there. So it wasn't all the way back, or forward, however you want to look at it. So if the PTO arm's up, you know, as if you're driving around in the locked position. This bracket needs to be all the way forward against this bolt here, which is attached to your upper uh, three-point arm there. Right here. So it's attached here. 
onto that. So what I what I found out was when I slide this all the way forward, and I get these all, I got them all um, tightened up here. It kept this distance, this eighth inch distance. So I'm gonna get that all. Um, I'm gonna get that all bolted back together and then um, start setting up my mower deck but you can see it's it's rubbing on the uh, the PTO selector here and it's rubbing on this um, it's like a hydraulic line here. I'm not sure what that is going to, but from uh, where where it was set up from the dealer it was right there. So a good uh, five eighths out of whack. And I always thought my deck was was low, you know, when I had it in the high position. So that's that's the reason why. But they could have done a little bit of engineering on this, I think. Maybe had this bent out another um, at least quarter inch. This bar here. I'm sure they figured that out now. This is a 2012, I think, tractor. So hopefully in five years they've fixed that problem. The only other thing I think of is maybe this is this is supposed to be on this side, but I don't want to get into that tonight. So okay, there. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, can see where it was set up from the dealer so yeah all right let me get this back together work on the deck all right living the dream here on the floor on my back okay got the tire back on and hopefully you can see that I got my eighth inch. So it all went back to that thumb. That bracket right there. Okay. Three point hitch up. That arm's got to be tight on that bolt there. And then. You'll get that. Okay, now I'm gonna get start setting the mower up here. Wish me luck. Okay, right side, shoot side, got uh, four and an eighth. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side. So on this side. I don't have the uh, fancy um, gadget from for doing this. But what I figured out is is that blade. All right, so we get the blade. The blade is. On the left side is about a half. I'm going to say it's a half inch higher than the half inch higher than bottom of blade. It's half inch higher than bottom of deck. So 
We got um, we call it three and a half inches to the bottom of the blade. So I gotta go up a good half an inch on on this side. And to do that gotta get it that thing. So we'll lift that thing up um, about half an inch. Alright. I'll do that and I'll show you what I did. Alright. So I've got four inches on the shoot side and four inches on the other side. So now I'm going to um, do the front to back adjustments. And they say to put the front blades, the front of the blade, lower, the front of the blade, lower than the back. Plus, I guess it helps it. Um, with this high lift portion here when you got the front of the blade doing most of the cutting it helps throw it out better too so we're going to um, do the front to back adjustments but again to do the side to side ones okay what you got to do is Those guys right there. You undo them and then you go up and down and, and so on, back and forth, up and down, your deck up and down. And what I did too is I left the um I left the cotter pins out so I can take that, that bigger pin out. So now that I'm adjusted to it, I'll put the cotter back pins back in and, and go to the front to back adjustment. <laughs> 